Calaroga Shark Media. Hello, I'm Johnny Mac with five good news stories. Good news if you like smelly cheese. We've discovered the world's smelliest cheese. Rory Stone is a cheesemaker at the Highland Fine Cheeses in Scotland. He's been overrun with orders for a washed rind cheese called the Minger. He's billing it as the most putrid smelling cheese in the world. Stone said, everybody's still asking for samples and it hasn't stopped. And I find it really bizarre. I mean, it's a smelly cheese, but it's quite a lovely flavor. So the only problem now is I've run out of cheese. <laughs> Supermarkets initially rejected it, dismissing it as a gimmick, but it's sold well enough in independent shops and it's won several awards, including Best Specialty Cheese at the Royal Highland Show in Edinburgh in 2019. Is it actually the world's stickiest cheese? Stone says, who cares? I think it was a throwaway line because you can't prove something like that. You can't qualify it. We know it smells and we know it's not very nice, but to say it's the smelliest cheese in the world is a bit of a struggle, but you can't disprove it. I like how he thinks. Apparently, there are lots of smelly cheeses from around the world. Mark Bates is a cheese expert. He judges several cheese contests a year and said, I think we've become more adventuresome. In 2004, researchers at Cranfield University in Britain had apparently way too much time. They created an electronic nose to determine that a French cheese was the smelliest. Dr. Tanya Schoenfuss is a professor of food science at the University of Minnesota and a longtime dairy contest judge. Dr. Schoenfuss tells us when you're aging cheese, you have the breakdown of the fats and the proteins initially, and the bacteria and the yeast and the molds and all the microorganisms are creating flavor compounds, and some of them are really volatile. And that's where you get the smell from. Stone says the Minger has a minty flavor. The cabbagey aroma, he says, is not there in the taste. A Tennessee zoo has a new resident. It's an African black-footed penguin named Elrond. Elrond was part of the zoo's species survival plan for African black-footed penguins, which are listed as endangered because of overfishing of sardines and anchovies, as well as oil spills. African black-footed penguins are considered to be excellent swimmers and divers. According to the Denver Zoo, they're able to reach speeds of more than 13 miles an hour with their torpedo-shaped bodies. Ice Ice Baby, China's Mars rover, has uncovered underground polygon structures buried beneath the red planet's surface. The scientists theorize that these shapes have been possibly generated by freeze-thaw cycles, such as those that happen in the winter and spring here on Earth. Good news for Joe, we found your ring. Joe was raking leaves. He realized his gold wedding band had fallen off. He'd been married for 42 years. He and his wife Marianne designed the band together with meaningful symbols, including a cross and grapevines. They looked everywhere and they couldn't find it. Luckily, Marianne is a member of the What's Happening in Charlotte, Michigan Now Facebook group. She posted about the ring and asked, does anybody have a metal detector? Dozens of people responded. A few hours later, eight people had joined the family in the yard. Some had metal detectors and they all worked together. Four hours later, Joseph spotted the ring reflected in a band of sunlight. So we didn't even need all these other people with the metal detectors. They were moved by the help. They said they didn't know us, but they were here willing to help. It was exciting to see so many people care about this. The Coast Guard arrested a man. Why? He was trying to run a giant hamster wheel across the Atlantic. The man was in a hydropod made of buoys. The Coast Gutter Valiant came across the man and his homemade vessel about 70 nautical miles east of Tybee Island, Georgia. He told officers his destination was London, more than 4,000 miles away. He was asked for the vehicle's registration. He said it was registered in Florida, but he couldn't find it right now. You know, I don't know where it is. I left my wallet home, something like that. The Coast Guard assessed the vessel and determined he was conducting a manifestly unsafe voyage. The same man attempted similar voyages in 2014, 2016, and 2021, all of which also resulted in U.S. Coast Guard intervention. The same man was once profiled in the New York Times, beginning a quest to run across the country, Forrest Gump style. He reportedly finished the coast-to-coast -coast journey not once, but twice. He was also profiled by Vice in 2014 and 2016. He was attempting to travel from Boca Raton, Florida to Bermuda, that's over a thousand miles, by running inside his homemade floating bubble, he explained, if you drive a boat, nobody cares. Bubble? Nobody did that before. That's your five good news stories for today. If you enjoy the show, tell somebody about it. They might like it too. You have a great day.